So you do have a first name. Of course you just don't I, want to. I have a first name. It's a strong name. It's a masculine name. Cookies, this is not over. Uh -huh. Oh, this is uh this is good. This everything is just so right in order. <laughs> we try to be hospitable. Sure. Oh, that reminds me. Mm. I'm just gonna Mr. Rick. Uh, don't forget to tell him about the two weeks. Oh, that's right. Uh, thank you, Glenda. Everyone, if I could have your attention uh, before we get started, just a little reminder. There will be no hospitality for the next two weeks. All right. Uh, now, jumping wait, straight wait, into I'm our sorry. agenda, we're going to jump. Sorry, we're going to we're going to jump straight. We're oh, jumping. Sorry, sorry, sorry. No hospitality. Sorry, that doesn't sound a bit um, odd. Well, I think what Mr. Riley means is because I'm on vacation the next two weeks, we don't have to worry about hospitality duties while I'm gone. Yeah, that's what, that's all I meant. Yeah. So just no hospitality. Anyone? Well, I'm just saying. Park Grove Community Church has lost its pastor and its way and is closing its doors unless it reinvents itself despite itself with the help of Chuck. The Committee. I mean, no hospitality, that, that seems like a bit of a problem, right? Are you volunteering, Chuck? No. Oh, thank you. Whoa, whoa, whoa big guy. Oh, hey, sorry. look, we can only do what we can do. Uh, Linda will be gone, so no hospitality duties, no big deal. Sure. Now moving straight to the agenda. Sorry. We really need to focus on the agenda. Right, but, that, uh, but that's not the point, is it? Um, hold on. All right. Um, Hospitality is not something that a committee does, okay? It's not something you put on or wear, right? It's a, it's a lifestyle, okay? Uh, it's a very important part of the Old and New Testament. Excuse me, Mr. Riley, I'm on a roll. All right, the Hilton should have nothing on the church when it comes to hospitality. All right, please have a seat, Mrs. Beasley and uh, Mr. Riley. I mean, Daniel. Daniel, make your way over here, all right? This will be fun. Come on, you guys, it's fun. <clears throat> Bonjour. Welcome to Chateau et le Parc Grove. Do we really have time for this, Chuck? Thank you so much for joining us. Uh, here's a list of today's specials. Uh, as you can see, we have a wide assortment of uh, scripture, prayer, music, sermon. A reason for living. <laughs> oh, that sounds about right. I'll have the inspirational sermon, please. Mm, excellent choice. The inspiration is especially fresh today. Et pour vous, Monsieur Sachet? Get the music. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take the music. Um, hold the tithing. Um, and a side order of a shorter service so I can catch the football game. Oh, wait, I don't mind a longer service. Okay, Miss Beasley. Is, 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 is a tall order, to be sure, but... Uh, let me see what I can do. In the meantime, please enjoy the musical stylings of our very own Monsieur Riley. Oh. Oh. Is he gonna play spoons or what? Yeah, I mean, what, did, what do we do if some people want, you know, a shorter service or if some people want a longer one, right? I mean, for me, you know, if I'm sitting in church and, and a hymnal or a song hits me in a certain way, man, it really helps me, you know, fight that case of the Mondays that I always get. May we please proceed with the agenda? Huh? We do still have the business of closing this church. Or not. Well, I thought this might help. What, waiting tables? Thank you, my. That is so helpful. Hospitality. Good place to start. All right, they visit. Uh, we do our best to welcome them, offer them a comfortable seat. Thank you, don't mind if I do. Then we give them the best we have to offer in fellowship and worship, uh, in essence what they like to eat. Then what? See you later. Yeah, they slip out the side door and we don't see them again until next week. Or not, depends on if the Niners are playing, right? You know, uh, just being nice, acting nice, uh, to somebody at, at, at church, what's the point? Uh, we're only manipulating a bunch of people we want to see come back, and why? Just so they can give money to the church? 
Uh-uh. Not a good idea, if you ask me. We need to do more. My favorite restaurant sends a follow-up postcard. And after 10 visits, I get a free dessert. Only we don't serve desserts, Glenda. Exactly the point. We need dessert. I like dessert. <laughs> I really like dessert. Uh, we all like dessert, but do we know the owner of the restaurant? Okay, I have no idea what you're talking about right now, huh? Hospitality is hospitality. You greet people with a warm handshake and a smile, and that's it. Boom, you're done. Oh, Chuck is right. When I go to my favorite restaurant, I know the owner. Well, Me too. Okay, and who is the owner of the church? It's an analogy, Mr. Riley. Figure it out. What's with the peanut gallery over here? I mean, is she even a part of this meeting or not? Because I don't remember ever signing off on this one. I walked in here. I have a problem with her over here telling me what to do. Did she mean the pastor was the owner of the church? I'm not sure what Hannah means, but we're all caretakers of the church. We do need to be careful. If we think we are the ones, oh, thank you. Uh, we think we're the ones that are solely responsible for welcoming our neighbor, then we miss the boat. Yeah, I mean, if, if I like the restaurant that I go to, I tell my friends about it, and then they go too. Have you told them about our church? Not my favorite restaurant. Mine either. Well, I mean, that's why I don't invite my friends. Something keeps me here, and... I don't know what it is. I mean, maybe, maybe it's Chuck. Maybe it's the fact that I've been here since I was, like, little. I don't know, but I feel like it's losing its pull for sure. I mean, I'm embarrassed to bring my friends here. It's so unorganized, and nothing seems to get through to Riley. And why won't you invite your friends to church? Don't like the dessert. I mean, the food's okay, yeah, but what's next? I mean, my friends all think that people in church are way too judgmental. Judgmental? Well, they're wrong. They just don't get it. Get what? I, I... Okay, all right. Uh, I think we are forgetting that um, a welcoming church actually begins at the curb. Hold on. I'll be right back. At the curb. He's always leaving. I think I know where he went. Don't tell me he went to bring more people into this committee because I will put my foot down right now. Oh, I hope it's someone who can sing in the choir. All right, Th thank you. This is not hospitality. No, that is the church parking sign. That's not, not yours to mess with. You need to take that back right now. There you now. go. That's not a no parking sign. That is a, a not welcome sign. Besides, you only got that sign so you could park wherever you wanted to. Welcoming begins at the curb, then it moves into the heart of the congregation, then out of the church into the community, right? It's 24 seven, it's everywhere we go. Soup to nuts, right? Okay. Here we go. When was the first time you felt welcomed? Glenda? It was my fourth grade Sunday school teacher, Miss Martha. The way she greeted everybody at the door. She say, hi, Glindy. I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> Glindy? Yeah, I liked it. Glindy. Nobody calls me that anymore. She'd give me a big hug, and then she'd say to the next kid, Billy, I knew you'd be here today. And she'd give him a hug, too. She made all of us in our class feel important. I think I had the same teacher. Well, not everyone is into hugs. I mean, for me, it was when we stopped and talked, and you asked me about church, about the committee. You made me feel a part of it. For me, it was Confirmation Sunday. I got my first Bible that day. It was like the entire congregation giving me a gift. When I was asked to be uh, head of the Finance Committee. <laughs> finance Committee. <laughs> I'm serious. I'm a pastor, recognize my gifts. 
Changed my life. Changed my life. So, I mean, it did. I'm not. It's not. I'm not. It's not. I'm. It's not saying. You know, facts are facts, though. Okay. Unless our situation changes, right? This church will close. Besides, I don't know what any of this has to do with hospitality. So. Everything. This is not just about greeting people or a sign in the parking lot or Glendy's punch and cookies after worship. Punch and cookies? If Glenda is gone for two okay. weeks... All right, we... fine. I guess we can be more welcoming, all right? Soup to nuts. Sorry, I just, I kind of like that expression. All right, the bottom line is um, we need to be welcoming to everyone, all right? We're called by God to welcome everyone, especially those that have been forgotten. And I know this is not easy, okay? Uh, Park Grove isn't suddenly going to become all welcoming because, you know, we had a meeting and we talked about it. But true hospitality will come whenever we put God first. And our own agendas have to be second, at least. But isn't it our job as a committee to be hospitable? Uh, frankly, no. I mean, hospitality isn't a job. We're here to welcome people into the body of Christ, the church. The body of Christ, okay, so what does that mean? Maybe it means that we can't just practice hospitality at the church, we have to do it at home and in the community. On the freeway, at the ball game. It's a lifestyle. Yeah, and this isn't going away tomorrow, all right? This is gonna take exercise and uh, discipline. Uh, and discipleship. Oh, this group could use some discipleship. Yes, discipleship. Okay, um, I have another crazy idea. Why don't we pray about it? Sounds good. Someone? Anyone? All right. Um, God, uh, please send us the people that nobody else wants. And uh, let us demonstrate your hospitality to all. And help us to see the people that live around our church. So that our invitation will be with open hearts. Create a place of acceptance so that... So that all feel welcomed, just as Christ welcomed us. Amen.